holiness is in right action and courage on behalf of those who cannot defend themselves. What could a king ask of a man like me? A better world than has ever been seen. Did you think that lay at the end of crusade? I'm Nana Ajumai from Kwai in the eastern region. Kwai Bibrim, Kwai Bibrim Metropolis, Kedi, to be precise, about three hours from Accra to the town. We have a problem and we need an immediate and urgent assistance and directions. Kwai is surrounded by seven towns and villages which contains or which consists itself. There is a big company known as Ghana Oil Palm Development Company Limited. This company is one of the biggest palm plantation produce in the world. That is the second largest in the world and the first largest in West Africa as a whole. It has about 22.145 hectares of palm plantation oil land for which their palm plantation have been developed belonging to Kwai. Now, this company have been using their financial capacity to subdue, to threaten, and to also bully the community wherein they've come in for our land. There is a big river which naturally, which is linked to some of the towns and villages for domestic use and for agriculture purposes. GOPDC Limited, as a company, have contaminated the river with their industrial purpose and the, uh, and the rivers isn't in the natural stage for use anymore due to their flow of their products into the water bodies that is a mainstream water for the villages for use and for domestic purposes and for agriculture purposes this company has managed to contaminate the water bodies surrounding quite and as it stands now we are not able even to get water to drink neither can we even fetch from there for our domestic use and in the evening it breeds scent and mosquitoes into the town and its environments and makes it impossible even for the farmers to go to farm due to the drainage they've dug around the farm killing of our animals into the drainage when they fall into it and as a result of that, we've called on them on several occasions, and it has all fallen into a deaf ears. And they've been in existence for about four decades. And they've not been able to do any social responsibility, neither even pay their royalties to the chiefs in the community, neither have they even built anything to the name of the land in which their company is built on. They've not even built hospitals, they've not built schools, they've not done any domestic use, they've not done anything, they've not done anything productively to promote and to develop the citizen. They've not given scholarship, they've not done anything since 45 years now they've been in existence. They've not done our roads. They've not provided warm water. They've not done anything. They've not built no palace. They've not done hospital. They've not done community. Nothing. 
so therefore we seek to advertise or to echo our voice for our voice to be heard from the diaspora. Thank you. And we wish the international community will come to our aid to speak on our behalf. For we are dying and our people are dying because of the bad odors that the water bodies they've contaminated is producing. Thank you very much.